Today we celebrate the feast of St. Bartholomew, who is also called Nathaniel in St. John's Gospel. On this apostle, we really don't have much information, but besides being numbered among the 12 apostles mentioned in the Synoptic Gospels and in the Acts of the Apostles, tradition also has it that he journeyed to India where he preached the gospel and was eventually flayed alive and beheaded in Armenia. If you ever see Michelangelo's uh, Last Judgment in the Sistine Chapel again and, and see that figure who's holding his own skin and are wondering who that is, that is St. Bartholomew. That's the tradition of him being flayed alive. In today's Gospel, we, we see that right from the beginning, our Lord praises this apostle. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. What great praise. Elsewhere in the Beatitudes, our Lord said, blessed are the pure of heart. In the Greek, pure is kataros, which literally translates into to being a single thing without admixture, with no duplicity. Purity of heart and evangelical simplicity is clearly very pleasing to our Lord and is a great blessing for souls because an evangelically simple life is a well-ordered life. What it does is it orders the different aspects of our lives all the activities we have to juggle, and it focuses, this, focuses it on what's truly important, the one thing necessary. This type of simplicity is very liberating, therefore, because it liberates us and it frees us, peeling away the layers and the layers of the unnecessary baggage that the world throws at us, and it gets to the core of what is truly important. So the more we grow in our faith, the more we grow in simplicity, this evangelical simplicity. And one of the things that we can do to truly grow in this, this form of simplicity is to meditate on the prospect of judgment. Our faith is not only looking backwards to the things that Christ has done, it also looks forward to the things that Christ will do. And this looking forward helps us to live the present moment in the presence of God, and hence to live the present in simplicity, with no admixture, with no duplicity. And the one who is without admixture, without stain of sin, is our Immaculate Mother. And to her we turn to constantly ask for the grace to live our present moment in the light and in the presence of God, who challenges us to purify our intentions and to purify our hearts so that we may see God face to face in heaven. Praise be Jesus and Mary. Amen.